up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here. Today we're unboxing the Marvel Collector Core for this month. And as you can see, we have Spider-Man Homecoming is what's being whatever's done in this box. That's why Spider-Man looks like that. And it's not some other person, it's Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, we're getting all Spider-Man Homecoming pops in here. Don't know what to expect because I think this is one that actually I don't think they've spoiled anything from. So it's going to be all new and surprise to me. Um, but first up, we have our pin and our patch. And so our pin is just a Spider-Man circle. I believe it's just like Spider-Man's logo. Um, I think it's the one... Oh, it doesn't show anywhere. But I think it's like the logo that's in the Spider-Man Homecoming, like, poster pictures and stuff like that. I think it's the O in Homecoming or something like that. Um, but it's, yeah, just this little Spider-Man face logo. And then our patch is um, Vulture. So the Michael Keaton Vulture character and that. Which I um, like Vulture from the old cartoon and comics and stuff like that, but I think he doesn't really look like Vulture and that. But oh well. So we have our spoiler thing, which we will go to later. And so first up on top, we have a comic book, and it is a number one of Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. And so there is the um, Spider, oops, Spider, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man, and then Vulture there, and the Funko Pop covers. So that's so that's kind of cool. Don't know what that Peter Parker Spider-Man is though. I haven't heard of that. Next up we have our t-shirt. Oh, this looks cool. So it is a Funko shirt, but it doesn't look like it has anything Funko on it. On it. So like they've done a couple times where they make these shirts but don't have any Funko items on it, which I kind of like. But it is this um, school, so it says Mid Midtown School of Science and Technology established in um, 1962 so it's just Spider-Man's school the school that he goes to and it's loaded and stuff like that so that's kind of cool again another thing that if you um, wear and people know a lot of Spider-Man they'll know what it's from and stuff like that so that's really cool um ooh. Uh, so we got some myst I forget the mystery minis couldn't think of what they're called but of course unfortunately these are the ones that well maybe I say I think that they um, either already have that you're going to get, which this box has like Spider-Man on, but it does show um, four possible to get. Um, so I don't know if you have a chance of four and they just randomly put two in here, or it could be any four of these in the box, but I'd somewhat think it's the Spider-Man on the front there, which is Spider-Man in his actual Spider-Man outfit. But if it's a mystery, I don't know why they put it in all these packages, or if it's not a mystery. I don't know why. Don't you have one of those already? Like a Craven? No, I got the uh, Craven right there. But it's just from Spider-Man. Like the comic and stuff like that. But we have the Spider-Man. So it is just the one in the picture. So it's just Spider-Man in his normal outfit type thing. stuff. So he has his new like web singer, slinger, wristband things and stuff like that. Um, you can kind of see it on that hand there kind of. Um, but his head's all twisted and weird. Some of the stuff's peeling off. Um, but yeah, it's these uh, little mystery things, which I hate the Marvel ones because they're bobbleheads. Because one of them, the very first one I bought broke. And so ever since then, I've kind of uh, been disappointed in these. But I still buy them just to see what characters I can get stuff. And then our second one is Shocker, which is kind of cool because from the moment I saw the guy in the commercial have the little thing on his arm and it shot like an electricity bolt, I immediately said that I think that's Shocker and stuff, but of course he was never advertised for the movie or anything. But now having stuff like this, and I think the Pops too, that there's a Shocker Pop, um, I've had that confirmed. So I think that's cool that they're throwing in um, another character into the movie and stuff. So we have Shocker. Oh, the light's horrible on this. Um, but there is Shocker. And so they, he doesn't look like, of course he's got no mask on or anything like that, but... Um, it's hard to describe the what he looks like and stuff. Like his arms kind of have the design, which I doubt you can see in the camera there. But he has like a, um, I don't know what you got, like a cross stitch, like a square pattern on his arms here and stuff like that. Which the real shocker has that on his face and stuff. But he has like a brown like triangle type thing, I believe, or something that comes with a triangle, it, something like that. It's hard to describe, but he has electricity, kind of like Electro. If you saw the last Spider-Man movie, it looks funny because his hand that has like the shocker glove on it yeah it kind of looks like the potato masher uh shot glove that tony stark made oh, in the third yeah. iron man movie and with tony stark being in this that'd be funny yeah. if, if they modified it like to yeah like, like they found it and he was like yeah, that's kind of funny um but yeah, so that's i mean i don't like that whole thing 
see, I would like superheroes that have powers, but um, they kind of can't do it with everything. But that's fine. And so we'll move on to our pop. And it is, okay. Um, so it is the Spider-Man, as I've been saying, Spider-Man in his suit for the movie. But this one, he has the webbing in between his arms. So like you see in the commercial where he flies over the helicopter, he spreads his arms and has the little webbing in between his arms or under his arms, whatever. And so that's what they do. this is. And it is cool. Um, I like this because I haven't bought any of the new... I'm kind of done really buying pops except for select ones. And so it's cool to get a Spider-Man from the new movie and it to be this one that you see with the like webbing under his arms and stuff. So that's really cool. And again, he has his um, wristbands, which was a big part of like or the commercial stuff. Tony giving him um, his upgraded technology of webbing stuff and everything. And so it's really cool. I really like this pop. And so glad that they um, included that because I feel for people that are going to be, that if they enjoy the movie, if it's good and everything, this will be a pop that people will want to have, especially if you're a Spider-Man fan. Um, but that is everything out of the box. Now let's look at our card here. Um, so of course we have the designs for the mystery minis and the, so I don't think I showed it. But there's the Spider-Man in his homemade suit. So uh, well, that was the cover where he's in like a... Um, sweatshirt type like hoodie and stuff and then there's also a vulture down there too that you could have gotten so there's little descriptions of those our midtown school um, of science and technology it says is a as reference to spider-man's first appearance in the comics so that's awesome then we have the vulture pin and uh what's it say spider-man's web shooter hologram logo is what the pin is uh let's see we got this um Spider-Man comic book, the Peter Parker, Spider-Man, whatever. Um, oh, it's just got a bunch of random stuff about it. It doesn't matter. And then, of course, the Spider-Man pop, which is awesome. And, of course, showing the whole web design and com concept and everything. And then, as you can see on the back here, we have the first appearance of Avengers as next month theme, which is really cool because I love the first appearance uh, Avengers except for the um, Iron Man down there but all the other characters really like like of course me being a uh, captain america fan i want captain america but he looks pretty much the same as they've already made so like it'll probably be one of the other characters on here i would say either iron man or thor, thor maybe because i don't think they've made a thor that looks like that um will probably be what the pops are um, but that's going to be it for this Collector Core unboxing. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.